Hey, what is up everyone? This is Radioactive Ra SNG, and today we're going to be talking about Sega's downfall, and I have some uh, friends with me, so why don't you introduce yourselves? Hello everyone, this is uh, Steven Nux, and thanks for having me on, dude. Hey guys, it's Freddy. I, I mean, uh, <laughs> Brian, I mean Blue Rush. Hey guys, my name is Blue Spinesh, I'm irrelevant, and as I can tell from today, so is Sega of America. Yeah. <laughs> and hello guys, my name is Blue Richardson. You ain't never seen me talk much, but here I am again. Hey guys, I'm Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we got most of the um, Sonic Central members with us today. The most. Yeah, all yeah, the well, yeah, I think we got everyone actually. So cool. We got Sonic Central USA. Hey, we're That's like, us. We're like, so- we're like Sega, we're like Sega America. America. Hey guys, let's go Europe. split up <laughs> real quick. Let's just split up the Sonic Central. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, obviously so- Sega of, Amer- of America, which is in um, San Francisco, recently closed their doors, and they're going to be going down to Southern California. And I think 300 plus people got laid off. So when you heard that, what was your initial thoughts? Like first thing that came to your heads? Anybody can do. It. I knew it. Okay. Well, we already know how Blue Rush feels, but I wake up at 5.30 in the morning every single day, and the first thing I do is obviously not get ready for school. I check my phone. So I go on Twitter, and I see um, Donnie on Twitter saying something like, I forget what the first thing was. It was something that wasn't really that bad, and I was like, oh, okay, whatever. Sega's just doing something stupid like usual. It's not that yeah. surprising. But then a couple minutes later, he was like, 300-plus people fired from Sonic, or not Sonic Team, Sega, and I was like, wait, what? So I clicked the link and I was reading it, and I was like, well, dang, everybody's getting fired, and then all the articles started pouring in about them, like, relocating and trying to get stable profits for Sonic, because we all know how Sonic games are. One's good, and it's amazing, and then Sonic 06, and then Unleashed is good, (laughs) and then Colors, and Generations, and then Lost World, and everything seems playable, at least, and then Boom comes out, and it's supposed to be the best game ever, but it's really the worst game in existence, and it's just unstable as hell. It really is, yeah. So, other thing... what do you think of this situation? (laughs) Awkward silence. <laughs> so, what did... Um, as, far as, as far as my initial reaction, I woke up to this news. It was really kind of heartbreaking. I was like, well, you know, I, it sucks that I didn't see this coming. At the same time, we all saw it coming with the old downfall Sonic boom. We knew it was there. I think all of us agreed that this is Dark Age Part 2. Oh, uh, yeah. I think we all confirmed yeah. that. Um, I didn't think it'd take this hard of a fall. This is like some serious level stuff. This is like Mega Man death type of thing. When I when I hear PC and when I hear mobile, I immediately think of Pac-Man, Crash Bandicoot, and Mega Man, all these dead franchises. Yeah. And the fact that Sonic has sunk this low, it's pretty much, it, they confirmed that Sonic is going to be a mobile franchise. That right there should give you enough the, in, the incentive to think this way, to think that Sonic is no longer going to be on consoles because the, the creators came out and said something that blatant and so obvious and dark like that. Uh, not dark in their eyes. It, it, it could be a success. It, it could be something positive. I don't really care. I don't really care. This franchise is not the same and it no. probably never It hasn't will. been the same I said for this a long in the, time. I sent this in the Sonic Central group earlier. I don't pick up my iPhone every single day and play Sonic Jump Dash whatever for hours upon hours a day. I don't even think I have the apps on my phone anymore. It's honestly just storage takers and yeah. you play it for a day and then you're like, wow, this game's actually not fun. And then you delete it and you boot up the game and you're like, hey, time to play the new Sonic game. Hey, you could buy this now. You're a Sonic fan, right? Here, buy this for $10. Buy. <laughs> yeah, because people buy games on their phones nowadays. Uh-huh, which is stupid because I, I, I don't get I don't get how people can play things on their phone religiously like a console. I can't I can't do that. Yeah, I mean, like, Sonic 2 HD and Sonic Spinball are, like, the only um, things I actually play here and there on it. Yeah, like, all the my... other Sonic stuff, no. <laughs> um, well, for my initial reaction to this uh, whole thing, while I was uh, playing uh, playing uh, Hyrule Warriors and Mario Kart and such, I looked up on Twitter and, and during the, during the uh, midday on my time zone, I looked up on t- Tales Channel, just saying about mm, the, that the Sega staff have been laid off, like 300 of them, and my initial thoughts, like, m- with more people laid off, 
that means yet another batch of games being rushed out without without people like developing, marketing, and testing the game before release. Yep, that's pretty much how it's been going, especially Wait, with the. Wait, they can test its games. Well, <laughs> well, they, well, I hear they fired a game tester years ago. I want to know who tested Sonic Boom. Nobody. I honestly believe. I Nobody. honestly think no one did. Why do you like, think they didn't send out review copies? Because if they did, IGN would be like, the game sucks, and then nobody would buy it, and they wouldn't make the 50,000 sales that they did. Yeah, they could, yeah, they, yeah they That's probably why yeah. they didn't give out copies. They knew that Dude, the if they, they sent out review copies, I think they could honestly make maybe 20,000. Yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah, they don't get out review copies, so they can try and make sure the game reached like a million units sold, which, I, yep. which I'm glad the reviewers did review the game in time, so people won't buy it. Yep, and boom, crashed and only made $2 million, and now Sega lost 18 because the game yeah. somehow was on a budget. Because of Steven Frost and his um, buy-in And even then, they didn't really sketchers. get $2 million back. Think of it, they have to pay everybody else as well. It's more like... They yeah, have they have to, to, they have to pay to get it out there and whatnot. Yeah, and the, yeah probably. Yeah, and the whole, yeah, and the whole, and the rest of Big Red Button. All right, so I think we're going to go on to the next topic, the future of Sega. So should someone buy them out, or should they just stick on mobile PC? What do y'all think? Wait, Sega has a future? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's say they did have a future. Um, I don't think anybody should buy them out. I can't really see, like, uh, the only thing I could honestly think of is, like, Nintendo or something. I can't see a company like Microsoft or Sony buying out but even, Sonic even the then, if they bought I can't Sega, see like... I can't see Sega actually selling out to each other because they have like all these deals with Sony and Xbox. They just, it just not money. They wouldn't make they're nearly as much money now. now they <laughs> yeah, they're Apple. they're pretty much like really. Let's say off. someone buys the franchise. Even then, what's going to happen? Are we going to get more or what? What's going to happen? Is it going to still be dead? Well, like, uh, Sonic always... Colors. For one thing, we for one thing we can show. Sure. Don't give don't give it to Sonic Series to Capcom because they'll train like Mega Man. Like I never got the the people that say, oh Nintendo should buy them, should buy Sonic. Like, what is that going to do? And besides, like anything. if they buy if they buy Sega, then that means they're gonna, because it means like, if like Nintendo holds so many like, when they give out developers, like they have a like each the when they develop in the game, they have a budget to make a game. Like they have so many developers, like um like Retro Studios and such. They got a lot, a lot of budget to make a uh, like crap, well crafted games and hoping it will sell well, like Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. And since we haven't heard that game sold well enough, and if they bought Sega, then that means they'll waste more money, to, like to get the budget to done to make the next Sonic game. And since the Wii U is not s- selling as well as the PS4, uh, yeah, and it's kind of risky. One, I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, because if they buy Sega, then they're gonna waste more money giving them budget, and the game will still not sell and they'll lose a ton of money in the process. Honestly, I can't see Sega even bothering to sell themselves out because first off, you have to buy, you can't just buy Sega America. You have to buy the whole thing. You have to buy the and whole Sega thing, Sega Japan yeah. is pretty big <laughs> I'm going to go to the store and buy Sega of America today just because. Like, it doesn't... It's, <laughs> yeah, there's, there's so much to it. Like, I don't even... You, you'd there's have so much to buy we don't the entire know about Sega it. for that. And I don't yeah. think Nintendo wants to waste that much money on Sega considering they have so many deals with arcades, PlayStation, Sony, the, Mi- the Tsumi Miku games are selling pretty good. Yeah, 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 stuff like I that. Like, I mean, I yeah, just can't I see like them that, selling but... it just because of one franchise. I think, I think they yeah, say like ninety-seven like percent. I think they yeah, say like ninety-seven like percent of their um, revenue comes from like those, like um, the plinko machines and all that, like gambling. Yeah, and I feel like the only, I feel like the only franchise uh, that is still keeps Sega from dying is Hasuni Mika because well, she's big in Japan and as well as the West. Yeah, I, th- I think I have to agree with Blue on this. The you can't it, just because Sonic is dying. It's not that big. It's a huge franchise, yes. But what could what could Nintendo benefit with Sonic, really? Yeah. It has a large fan base, yes. But who are you going to please? You're going to please maybe us and the people that make YouTube videos. But what's going to make him relevant, really? Sonic Adventure. Two. Nothing, because he'll have less sales than ever. If it's only Nintendo, he's missing exactly. out on the PC market, the Sony market, the Xbox market. Yeah, yeah that is what made Sonic. I don't, I don't see it doing better. well with any side. If like he were to get bought up by Microsoft or Sony as well, the honestly, you seeing can't him say it any other way than Sonic is dead, and it sucks to say that, but he's in the situation 
where it feels like nothing can bring him happiness right now. Yeah, yeah. the only with, thing they can do is weird. like the only thing, like the only thing they should keep doing is keep releasing multiplats, like for Nintendo, Microsoft, and Sony. I mean, like that's really um, all they can do. Like yeah, like the last thing, the last Sonic game, a couple of Sonic games that did sell well on multiplats was Sonic Unleashed and Sonic Generations. Oh yeah, that's right. It's yeah, been Sonic... since Generations. It's yeah, been it's since generations. Been, generations man. sold a million, right? Uh, I think, I think it's. I think it's, Sadly. I think it's more than three million. I'm not sure. Uh, generations and Transform were like the last multi. We're yeah. talking canon games here, though. Yeah. One. If we're Sonic talking Trans canon, then Generations. Sonic Transforms just about a Hey, if you count Sonic Dash, then it was two years ago, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The whole thing, if like if they do. Like, for my thoughts, if they go to mobile and PC, well, let's be honest, if they go to show the Sonic games so well on mobile, like Sonic Jump, Sonic Dash, Sonic Jump Fever, but we don't know if they sell a million, a million downloads on it. I, I don't think they will. And, and I, I, I don't PC, think people care about them enough to do that. Yeah, and for PC, who, he says, when was the last PC game that sold like a billion, like, units uh, other than Minecraft? For all we know, PC could mean, like, a different franchise. It probably isn't even Sonic, you know what I mean? Like, th was it confirmed to only be Sonic when they it comes to They didn't say only Sonic. No, they, they said they were... They, were Sonic they, they said more... They said they're gonna focus more on PC. It doesn't mean Sonic is gonna, like, die and only yeah, be it, on PC. I, I, I see it more as, like, they're gonna focus a little bit more on the PC market. Because it is pretty big, really. I mean, they're kind I of... I read an kind article of on TSS on saying that... Like, the one guy who wrote the article, he, like, updated it, and he was like, there's been confusion between the article I posted earlier and a lot of the people reacting. I, Sonic isn't going to stay off of consoles, but as of the moment, he will no longer be on it. We're unsure yeah, I read that if we'll return too. to them at the time, so... I think, I think he will be on of what to do only. with... I, you know, here, here's what I think. Sega's going through a Sony. They have no idea what to do with their franchise. Like, The Amazing Spider-Man, nobody knows. Yeah. The so, way that I see it, though, fresh reboot, yay! Problems. Okay, I don't think we're getting another but... console release for some time. That's my thing. Either do I. Yeah. Like, this I... news just shot every belief. That last video I made, it's. I think all of that's gone. Yeah. I mean, so much for our focus is just totally different now. It screwed everything up. So so much so much for so much for a next gen Sonic game with amazing graphics. Yep. Although it could happen. I mean, see. it could. We don't know, but this news just makes me believe. That Sonic's only going to be this mobile franchise like Mega Man and all that, and that's what I'm sticking with. I believe they put themselves in this position, it sucks, and that's just how it is. Yeah, yeah. they're going for PC, then I may not be able to play another Sonic game because my laptop couldn't handle my like, PC games because I never tried them before. I'm that's exactly busy. what I was going to say earlier. Like, more people have lower end PCs than higher end PCs, so I don't see how how they can play a new Sonic game comfortably, especially at like 60 FPS. Like my old laptop, for example. I'm sure a lot of people, like especially like younger people who like Sonic, like maybe 12 and a little bit older, they probably have a laptop similar to what I had, and yeah. that would be a very, very, very shitty computer. So I. I ran generations at maybe 15 frames, give or take 15. Good. So God. <laughs> they're not going to be able to play it comfortably. Thank God I fixed the problem now, but I'm sure there's still a lot of people out there who can't run. Oh Steam yeah. Games. I think the majority of people can't run like Sonic Generations. Yeah, except without only if, problems. Except yeah, except only if you send people say like a bunch of money for my six. <laughs> All right, but yeah, I guess yeah, we'll I think uh, yeah. yeah, we can go on to the next topic. Um, so, how could this all been avoided? I think this is gonna be everyone's favorite part. Uh, oh God! Uh, I'll let <laughs> go first. I, yeah, I, yeah, you, you go first, Stephen, because you're the experience. This is this is super accumulative. You know, it's been we've been losing money since I want to say <laughs> Genesis days. Uh, this has been growing. We all expected this. We knew that this franchise isn't going to be one of those. Oh, it's going to always continue and be top selling. I knew it was going to come to a point at some time in the world, you know. I didn't think it come this sudden while I was still on YouTube and everything. This is, it's very shameful. This could have been avoided by a good investment. Their investment wasn't the best. That started with, I want to say, the, the, what, the 32X and all that. Yep. That pretty yep, much yep, killed yep. their consoles. And they relied so much on third party, and 
I don't know, you know, this this Nintendo Sega partnership didn't work, so you almost have that feeling like, who can help Sonic? Like, who's going to save this series? There's no one else that can give, there's no one else that can give him a, a critically acclaimed game, because his last one, I want to say, was, I guess, Generations, that was kind of generally uh, positive, but, um, he, yeah, he's never had, like, a really super acclaimed game, and the fact that they can't reach out and get those sales with these different companies, it almost gives you that feeling like he's hopeless and it's all their fault they put themselves in this position they created fans that are really diverse and it all built on them this cycle that i predicted in my um i think it was my fan base video like the big large cycle of critics fans and uh, yeah. sega yeah i think that's all just to a halt i think sonic's just going to they're going to stretch their legs they're going to try to crawl their way through this with pc and uh mobile and it's gonna hit them hard they're gonna realize that man we screwed up and this is what our franchise is uh will it end i think i think sonic's done with consoles i think i i'm gonna explain it on my video once i get that uploaded but sonic is definitely it's definitely not the same um it, i don't think it ever will be that's my stance yeah well uh, from if my end like this, I mean, we all, like, due to how Sega losing a lot of money, like, in the bank, like, instead, I mean, it's been a while since we seen, haven't heard from Sega's financial problems, and now they jump right back into it, into the financial I heard they have less than a billion dollars in investments right now. Yeah. Is that true? I, I didn't want to believe that. Is that true? I don't know if they it's are, true. That's kind of, that's kind of crazy 000. to think about, if that's true. But, yeah, I mean, they have, like, like eight, 800,000 yeah, yeah, or yeah, something. Yeah, I had to... Because yeah. they're not on bankruptcy or anything. I, I've heard, like, uh, different articles explaining that. They yeah, still they're have not bankrupt, money. but just... they don't even have 900000 in their capital. That's what they said. And I heard it's certain branches, too, not, like, the entirety of Sega, so I don't yeah. know. Yeah. It's, like, it's mainly Sega America, not, like... Yeah. Yeah, so it's they, Sega of Japan too, because it was like there's a hundred million yen, and people were, and he was like, sounds like a lot, yeah, but you convert it to U.S. dollars, and that's like eight hundred forty-eight thousand, I'm pretty sure, dollars. Yeah, yeah, and Big Weapon, aka X, Naughty Dog developers, they can't help them either. You can just call them X Big Red Button members, because that company's done. Yeah, they're done. Oh, they're yeah. gone. The way that I see it, though, there's a few things like what Steven said with all the add-ons for the Genesis. Um. I don't know. You can't really, you can't blame them for that because at the time they were ahead of Nintendo. They thought that they were, they had had a good margin on it's the NES. It's still terrible marketing, I find. Yeah, yeah. It, it definitely yeah. is. It, it definitely is. Still for for what, a year. Yeah, it's still no excuses. What they thought was innovative, it was really ahead of their time. But you can't do that. You can't do <laughs> that. Yeah. Like yeah, like that. the only thing. Well, they they're, the like they're like putting, they're like putting add-ons like right next to each other. You can't do that. It's not. No uh, one's yeah. gonna buy it. Yeah, uh, it'll be like a cluster mess. And that was around the time Sonic wasn't even like a fan. He was a fan favorite, but he wasn't as big as he is now. So you can't just do that. And <laughs> yeah, the only thing, yeah, now, now the only thing we can like the only good thing we can see Sonic right uh, as of lately is Smash Bros. Because he's appearing in another good game, even though it's not his game technically. Yeah, a game that's not even Sonic's is better, and Sonic is in it. Well, good job. Yep. And, uh, what else? Um, uh, I forgot what else I was going to say. The other thing um, is, like, um, they don't, they don't do anything besides Sonic anymore. I always say that. They, all yeah, they want to do mean, is I make Sonic games. Why, uh, yeah, I can they understand. don't really have a lot of amazing franchises, though. I mean, I mean at least, least they me, do I don't have know. franchises, you know, that like, they have, like, those Japanese releases and yeah, Fantasy I mean, like, Star and all yeah. that. But yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. it's just me, because I'm not into any of those. Maybe other yeah. people like it, I but mean, I, we never for me, heard. I only play Sonic. I barely, I, I don't even know if I can call myself a fan of Sonic anymore, so Sega's honestly, like, dead to me. That's how I am right now, at this well, point. Well, what like, is just... a Sonic fan now? We all don't like where he is now. Well, I mean, it's like... You don't... I think it's when, when I think Sonic fan, I think of the games you like. Like my favorite game is obviously the adventure game, so I call myself a fan. Oh, oh yeah. So, yep, yep. Like that's what a fan is. No one's currently a fan that I know of. Yeah, because I, I can't I, can't I can't call myself a fan of this Sonic, you know. No, it's embarrassing to it, call myself I can't, a fan. I can't. I can't. Yeah, I feel I feel like yeah, I feel more ashamed to call Sonic fan myself because I've been a huge fan of him since I played Sonic Heroes back in two thousand three. That was like the golden days right there. 
it, yeah, it doesn't have a golden age. But, and as of now, like, while I did enjoy him as some titles, like Sonic Unleashed, and Sonic Col- uh, no, sorry, not, not Sonic Col- so Sonic Generations, and Sonic and also Green Transform, well, while I do find uh, a little okay-ish for Sonic Lost World, but as of now, I feel ashamed for myself as a Sonic fan now. Like, I do ha- I do- It's tough I to say you're a fan right now. I still- I still try and have hope for the blue book, but I feel like he I really hope Sega tr- like like try at least uh, listen to the fans for once. I mean, back in the uh, golden days, like Sega were like really aggressive, like with the Dreamcast, like they were really aggressive with the marketing of Sonic Adventure 2, and they were aggressive yeah, they had the enough to try something and whatnot. Yeah, and and they also took risks and aggressive enough to try something new with a new gameplay concept, such as Sonic Heroes. Yeah, I mean, not, not funny enough, though, the risks are what kind of killed them. Yeah, yeah. yeah look at Lost World. Lost World is like one of the most ambitious games I've played, and it didn't do well. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, because nope. the story sucks as one thing, but the gameplay like, style Sonic they didn't game do enough wasn't with a it. Risk. I I just want to know what Sonic game wasn't a risk. Sonic 06? No, I'm kidding. That was the um, biggest risk. I think yeah. every game, in some way, is a big risk. And yeah, back well, then, like, they did know, good. Except, like, but... Colors, because that was pretty much unleashed. And yeah, then, like, well, yeah, games like that, bad. Sonic CD, no wait, really risk, I wouldn't no. say Sonic CD is one, because, you know, they had to push on the, C- the Sega no, no. CD. <laughs> it was, I think it's the, it's the only good game on the Sega CD. Yeah, Probably. pretty much. I think Risk, I think... Adventure 1 and 2, I think. Uh, Adventure 2 is really risky. 06, I think. Uh, Lost the World. And, Shad- Shadow the Hedgehog. Yeah. Well, Lost World. And Boom, yeah. especially. Oh my god, Boom. Yeah, huge risk. Yep. And it sucks. So. Yeah, I, yeah, but when it comes to risks, as in, they need to take, they need to take risks, as in, they need to have faith if they game, if they want their games to succeed. That's not a thing anymore, though. They don't care. They yeah, just need money. I, honestly, I, I don't think they've cared for a while. Especially, yeah, like, after... Yeah, my, just, I think after Unleashed. Just, like... Yeah, like, just my final thoughts on the, how could this have been avoided. Uh, it's just been building up over the years. Sega eventually knew this what day this day would come. Um, boom was their last deciding factor. It didn't work. And we're on mobile, so that's how it goes. Yeah, they, like. yeah they, bought it, they bought it on themselves. Yeah, money is what makes the series go. When you don't have that, what can you do? All right, so last thing, got to make this one quick, is the uh, racism thing. Did y'all hear about that? Oh, yeah, I saw yeah, your, I heard I saw your, I Sega saw your tweet. Japan. I saw your Twitter about that. Yeah, it's like, crazy. I was like, dang, Japan, you're a disgrace. I don't really know if, I don't care about that, so. Well, I'm going to just I'm explain it, and then part. y'all can give quick thoughts, and we'll end off. But basically, uh, Sega Japan looks down on the other branches, and they want themselves to be the Imperial branch. It's, yep. it's kind of like... Well, that, all that does is just confirm that Sega is pretty much like scum. They don't care about that. Yeah, like, they don't. A lot of... Like, yeah, I'm not surprised by yeah, that. So. A lot of former employees, especially the ones that, as of recent, were all saying that. Like, they were coming forward and saying that um, they're being looked down on so say that they had the vice president in the helicopter always watching above to make sure they're working and not slacking off and stuff. They said that it was really one of those the west the western side fearing the eastern. That's what they that's how they explained it. Like, and this is Sonic Spate, pretty much. That's yeah, all I have this, to say. It's been it's, crazy. It's been crazy. It was money over quality. That's how it was. And I even said that. And I think it said like they missed out on some great opportunities in the article. And I even and I have proof that that is actually a thing. This is my this is a, the greatest example ever. And I put this in the script for my video that I still haven't even started. Other than that, Ryan Drummond, Sonic Generations. They wanted him to quit his union, whatever that means, I have no idea, that's his business, but that's what Ryan said himself. Sega wanted him to quit that and go back as Sonic. A lot of people think he was just going back for generations, but he was actually re-auditioning for, like, the solid role, but they were, like, going to pay him, like, like, coffee and donut amounts of money, and that's why he decided, ultimately, I don't want to take this job, it's stupid, I'm making more money now than if I was... To go back, but he said he misses playing Sonic and he would do it in a heartbeat, but they treated him unfairly. So what the person said in the TSSZ news article saying they missed out on great opportunities, I think that is one of those like one of those opportunities they missed out of because 
money's coming first before quality because having Ryan Drummond would only make the franchise good again. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's... No. What if what if Ryan Drummond was in boom? I don't think. I don't think that. Okay. Been... You know what I mean. You know what I mean. But I mean, really, when it comes to like Sega of Japan and Sega of America and like kind of racism. It's kind of like Sega America's kind of a joke, because really, they spent $20 million on possibly one of the worst games of all time. And not only then, Sega Japan is huge, and Sega America's like, it's like the size of, you know, raw. As like, <laughs> <What>? <laughs> you mean, okay. You mean, like a, you mean the size of a village? No, yes. the size of raw. But anyway, so, you know, you know, you know Sega Japan's kind of like Kyle. And like Sega of America is raw, so yeah, Sega of America is kind of small. Sega Japan's kind of basically big, so that's why they kind of. <laughs> it's not. It's like it's kind of like how Sega Japan treats America as like nothing. When in reality, they should work as partners. Yeah, that, it like, should be. Yeah. You know. All right. So, do you have anything else you want to say, or are we uh, done? I pretty much said everything. Yeah. I mean, Sonic. I never actually be on said how I could have think it could have been avoided. I'll try to make this quick. We've been recording for a while. Uh, Not fun, Sonic Boom. Well, that, and also before I answer that, let me just say, uh, the first like game I've ever actually sat down and played was Adventure Two. Uh, that's not really the whole reason why it's my favorite. That's for other reasons, but like my neighbors would babysit me when I was in elementary school, and they'd force me to play games, and I didn't like them. And then Adventure Two was one of the things, and I ended up getting a GameCube and that game, and I just thought that was the greatest thing ever. And then Heroes came, and then I also loved that, and you know where it went from there. But I don't know. I feel like if they just stuck to that formula, following what Azuka, like following the logic that Azuka said, like. Oh, the wisps are good, so Sonic Colors 2 is back for businesses. And, okay, well, if the wisps did good, why would you bring them back? Adventure 2 did good, where's the Adventure 2 gameplay again? Why? Why, why is that? Yeah, I mean, like, they did it with, they tried the 06, you know, they tried That's to have... That's different. I, oh, okay. No, 06 yeah. is I, gonna be still... Adventure. 06 is gonna be Adventure till Yuji Naka left, and they had no idea what they I'm were I'm just doing. saying that mindset, people are going to automatically like... assume that it's another Adventure game, so they want to stray with away from that with Unleashed. Unleashed kind of worked the, 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 the daytime stages, so they kept that. Uh, now Sonic's just in limbo. Like they tried Lost World, that didn't work. So it didn't like, work. No. Uh, where do we go from here? Mobile. Let's go. So it's just it's sad that 06. I just think it could have been avoided the if they did 06 again and finished it. Like this is I can't stress this what I'm about to say enough. They are afraid to have, I think they're afraid to have multiple characters, playable characters, even in the story and different stories to play as that intertwine into one final one, exactly how the 06 formula is, because 06 failed. Now before I say anything else, that is only because 06 failed, because they were stupid. If they sit down and finish it, it could be great. 06 yeah, would have been- Yeah, had the most the potential plot, to The plot still would have been weird with Elise and everything. But I'm pretty sure people could look past that. Hopefully, I, I don't find the whole Elise thing that big of a deal. Exactly. Uh, here. But this video is getting long. Just... My, just my only counter argument to that, or point to make to that, I think 06 is the game that just changed Sonic forever, and it oh, always. I agree will. on that. I'm it just saying the characters, if, if it do something similar to that, everything. but finish it, it could work. Yeah. Right. yeah here's here's my counter argument to your argument. Well, you complain about story all the time, yet you don't mind Sonic 06. I, I just I find it, it so strange. You compare, you, you're basically saying, "Oh, Colors is a short story," and then you're like, "Oh, I like Sonic X Elise." Yeah, I, I don't mean, like you, Sonic I mean, X Elise. I'm just saying, I don't really like. I don't look at that as the biggest issue with 06. I mean, like, here's the thing. Sure, like, sure, Sonic 06 and Sonic Boom are both equally bad, but at least Sonic 06 has some redeeming values to it, and that's the music. music. But well, but that's Sonic, Sonic, Sonic 06 was made by at least a few competent people. But for Sonic Boom, <laughs> not good gameplay, the graphics, what a joke, Awful. and of course the music is boring and bland and the most forgettable, like, songs. Boom is just all around bad. bad. I, it's just I bad. I swear, I swear I heard the, I swear I heard Boom music in a royalty free music library. Alright, so, yeah, that's pretty much everything we gotta say, so. Alright, cool, nice. Hey guys, yeah, I'm glad to have y'all, glad to have y'all give y'all thoughts and everything. Um, so. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button. And until then, peace out. You have a good night. Guys, don't try that. Don't hit on Kyle too much, guys.
Yep, yeah, whoops. Try to take your hate out on Sega. They deserve it. I don't. I'm just speaking the truth. Whoops. <laughs>